Hello, welcome. Um, this is the behind the scenes for the Super Metroid Thrill Experience kind of video. Uh, you might see up here is 2023 version because I had to update the project file since uh, new Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, less interesting than the After Effects 2023 version, which we'll see later. Uh, actually, there's a little specific part I want to cover. Uh, but I'm, I'm hey, uh, um, I, I this was supposed to be released Monday at four as usual. Uh, unfortunately, this is being recorded on Tuesday after four because I on Monday morning, uh, when I was getting up, uh, for work to eat breakfast, uh, I slipped, fell, and slid down the stairs. Uh, causing lots of uh, damage to my right arm and right thigh. So um, I could not really move my right arm that much. Uh, worked out overall, I think. I mean, it's much better now. It sucked. It's very painful. Um, you know, it, it's fine. But so anyway, that that's obviously why. why uh, and I was just too tired after work in general to really like try to work on uh, the doing this. Uh, with that being said, actually, I do want to talk about a couple of things regarding these projects. Also, uh, the, the Super Metro video has 60 views at this point in time, which is really cool. Uh, it kind of blew up in the last two hours or two days, uh, apparently. Or, well, blew up in a more relative sense, I guess. You know, double the numbers, you know, which I appreciate. And I think it's good and I'm glad for. Um... So it's cool. Uh, however, in regards to the behind the scenes and self-analysis stuff, uh, moving forward, I after next week's uh, behind the scenes, specifically on the uh, Escape from Ceres uh, space station section of the video, it's like super visual heavy and has a lot of weird quirks that I really wanted to go into specifically. Uh, I'm going moving forward. I'm going to be doing the self analysis and behind the scenes uh, on one single video because I think it's gone to the point where this is a little too repetitive and I think it's a little frustrating for me uh and there will be an occasional time there will likely be times where I'll do the behind the scenes much more specified like uh next week's video uh, instead when I do that um uh, another thing to note is while I am going to try to be consistent as much as I can and trying to have like a main project video uh, up like every month I am going to uh, I think I'm no longer gonna stick to a more rigid schedule of once per week for these videos I think a lot of it's just gonna be come down to when I feel like I want to make it and then put it out there uh, for the more behind the scenes stuff uh, I was I still want to do them uh, but I I I don't I'm already kind of busy with other stuff and I have a lot of things I need, I want to work on and need to work on uh, and priority focus that I do not want to create unneeded stress from having to stick to very specific deadlines for, for videos. Uh, and I would rather just primarily focus on the main project and not have to potentially stress about, oh, I need to get a video out this week, next, this week. This week, this week, next week, the week after. Um, so I'm going to do that less. And I'm just going to kind of upload whenever I think I see fit. Um, but again, the main videos I think are going to be still every Monday. Um, if you... Yeah, no, I think that's it. Um, so it's been a... So after taking four minutes of your time, um, but let's get into the actual, actual little project here. Uh, one of the things I want to draw attention to is I have all these folders. I think the last project, I did not have the same type of folder system where I had, I think, um, these folders were like outside and they were like the main folders and then you would go into like After Effects and it'd be like chapter one, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. I can't really remember, it's been a while. Uh, I think it was like that. So the organization of the project, uh, projects, have have improved dramatically, I would argue. Where this is you have chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, sort of. Uh, and then 
obviously they have the the after effects footage main footage uh, there's images so in this case it's primarily the the the, the chapter title cards uh, there's music there's um uh, nest files which is more so just uh, how premiere works where you can like have like a bunch of like uh images or footage and tie them into like one kind of like little sequence and this is sequence one because it's I, I should probably start doing something different where it's like i have different sequences and i just focus on one at once uh, but i haven't done that yet uh and i have not done that for the, the next project either i probably won't just because it's too short um but it's something to think about uh actually i do want to check one thing Yeah, okay, thank goodness. Well, yeah. Wait, didn't I? Well, maybe it was really, uh, maybe I, I don't really remember. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Um, so let's see here. Uh, there isn't really much to talk about necessarily in regards to into the actual analysis of the content because we did that, I think, last week. But you can look at how some of the things transpired like these obviously uh i think this is like this is this would be a nest for example where you can click in and you have uh, these although they're all at the top they're a little annoying so i can move them down um and like you can see that they all pop up kind of individually look at the first one so the first one's uh let's see is it geek critique this one um, so I primarily primarily use for like transforming because it has a, like a little bit of a blur that you can use. Uh, is the transform tool effect or not tool but effect you can do like transform. It's really nice. It's good for in general. Uh, and you can look at this here where I have like three keyframes. You have the main one, the starting frame, which is at point one, so you can't see anything. And then it slowly gets bigger uh, with a little bit of a a blur i think although maybe not oh i guess i, I didn't have the blur turned on actually which is fine because i don't i don't think it needed it where i mean i probably intended maybe but i think it looks better without it so like the blur for example would be like this and it would be better so you can do that or you can just have it like slide into it and it looks good and it goes bigger and then it slows down. It can have that like, little bounce to it. Uh, there's also like this stuff, which is changed a little bit, I think. Make it. I don't know if I actually edited. Well, I mean, there's a little bit because these are like ease. What was it? Beat visor? Yeah. So it has instead of a more. What's the best way to explain it? Instead of more rigid, in terms of movement, it has a little bit more of a like a slow and. It literally eases into it rather than just like straight into it. There's more of an ease. So you can see it slowly kind of slows down a little bit before it gets to this one. So it'll start fast and it slows down into it. And then it goes down. And some of that's because of the speed. I don't know if it's doing that, but usually I think if you set the Beezer, Pfizer, whatever the word is, it'll do it automatically. Yeah, doing nice. Transform's fun. Oh, sometimes it'll do that. It's weird. Go premiere. I might turn down. I think the audios just because there's not really a reason to have it on, since it's mostly just me kind of talking about the stuff. Um, and because you've already also, if you've watched the video, you've seen a lot of this before. I'm trying to think of something that's like really interesting, where it's just a lot of it's just like, and this is this is why I think the the behind the scenes and self analysis views are going to be combined in the future, because I think it's like I talk a, enough about some certain behind the scenes stuff in the original self analysis that it becomes repetitive, and it feels like one of them is worthless. Unless I get into like the really nitty gritty details, which I will get into uh, when we get into it. Oh, here we, here we talk about this. So if I remember correctly, this is, uh, I think, 
this part is a yeah this is this is an after effects usage um and i'll get into after effects a little bit later but because i want there's a particular place i want to look at it's fun um but you can see kind of like a tracking a little bit of samus's feet uh where we kind of get into the dead body there uh and then It'll zoom out a little slowly to reveal a little bit more of the station location where we are. Uh, I think the way I was thinking about it, where we have black screen, you know, opacity clears, things start to you know, fade in. We see Samus's light going upstairs, and we see a dead body, and it stops. And then we see the location. And then there's a snap to everything. More dead bodies destroyed, you know, station area. And boom. Uh, like, I don't know if it hits the exact frame. I probably doesn't on this one. I think I got lucky. Yeah. And then title card drops. Chapter one, Space Station Serene. Yeah, let's do this one. This was actually fun. I think I talked about it a little bit in the, the sub analysis, which again, this is why it's repetitive. Uh, where you have the right sound effects. Was a doo -doo 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 -doo. Bum, bum. Um, and then I don't remember what the context behind this was, but it seems like I had footage, and then I brought it into After Effects because this is usually the color you get for that. I don't know what the context was for this, but. It was something, something particular. Uh, a lot of these are, I think, is it's something I've been doing a lot more. Where it's just a lot of it, it's going to be like the footage I grab is going to be like stuff I've already edited in After Effects. Like this one is definitely After Effects, where I have uh, the main footage I recorded myself, and I'll have kind of the map layout from some sprite work that I think is listed in the uh, the credits. And then we'll, we'll I have that kind of tracked. So we'll move uh, the change the position of really everything because it'll be, um, I think the main footage will move over the map and then we change the position of that a little bit, uh, which is why there's this kind of, pretty seamless transition where she goes in the door and then it's like the orientation changes a little bit from like a kind of like a 3d layer type thing and it like shots although you can see it's a little bit awkward there but it, it immediately fixes itself doesn't it yeah the moment I, I it's a little off unfortunately but you can't really see it because it moves by so fast you know what i mean this is like let's see you don't see it here this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So that's twenty-two frames. Um, and I think this is a sixty frames per second video. So you don't even see that for you see that for maybe almost one third of a second. Pretty much. Yeah. I think that's how it works. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this is second. Yeah. So let's see here. We'll, we'll go back a little bit. So it'll be us going into Because you won't even see it. Plus it's like a little blurred. Yeah, yeah. You, you barely see it. It moves super quickly uh, because of how I edited it in After Effects where it's that you know, it's the kind of that motion graph uh, transform movement where I think there might be a little bit of blur and it just kind of like eases into it. And it's super fast at the beginning and it slows down, uh, which is why it kind of like it's fast. Or it's slow at the beginning, I think, where it's just slow a little bit, move it in, and then boom, snaps into place. Little bits of that. This one I didn't do that on. I should have. I think it froze a little bit. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't do it on this one. 
for whatever reason. Uh, I think it's, it might be because uh, I wonder if maybe I did do it actually. It's just that I don't want to mess with that too much. Oh no, I didn't do it. There's a flag here. I mean, this is the actual footage. Instead of that, I did footage from the a video, a uh, long play related video that I have listed. Um, I think I talked about how I, I I think I'm gonna do this differently next time. I'm not gonna use rounded corners anymore. Uh, I think I like the the more solid kind of block rectangular look. This feels cleaner. Just fine. Oh. This was pretty cool, actually. Uh, I kind of like this transition a little bit, where it's just kind of coming in from the side, and then Samus comes in, and it has that um, 3D layer effect, where this side's much left side is much closer to the screen, and then it moves over as Samus moves that way, and then you have a more yes, and then you reveal Ridley. Ah, oh, music. Link. Ah, and then there's this section which I'm gonna talk about on song later. And I, I do keep in mind this is like let's see how long this is. This is like 343 to 425 or something. Not even a minute, and it's just gonna be a lot. A lot. Chapter two. Well, this was a fun bit. Um, finding all the sound effects was pretty hard because it's just like there isn't really sound effects from the game I could effectively use. Like it just wouldn't have sounded right. Uh, so I had to find it online. I think I, I ha they should have be listed. I hope if they're not listed, I'll need to fix that at some point as well. I think they're low. I mean, a lot of these are, are also free. If not all of them, I'm pretty sure. This one was crazy. I cannot believe that really worked out timing-wise, which is it really is stomping alongside the sound effect. That was crazy. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up. Back. That is crazy. That's insane. I don't know how that worked out. But, I mean, I, I wanted to take that more... Um, like the not just bikes kind of visual, uh, sound kind of aesthetic that I thought would be interesting. Um, I think it worked for what I was trying to go for here. Obviously, I think that if I went longer or if it was a different type of video, I think it'd be really interesting. Uh, maybe there's something in the future that I could do for that. Uh, this was not the project for that. Uh, and then this is, okay, uh, well, you can't really see it very well here because it's in one fourth when I move it, which is why it's kind of moving a little pretty cleanly when we do watch it. Uh, I don't think this worked out as well as I would have liked where you have the maps and you kind of have it um, zoom in and kind of take the same place. I, I, don't, I don't think it worked. As well as I would have liked. Uh, maybe uh, it'll be something I need to experiment with. Figure out how to improve that. And other projects that might come up. But I just don't think it worked very well. Uh, it was. It feels weird that this is like normal framing. And then eventually it'll zoom back in. I think yeah. Um, this is a little oddly framed. I'm honest, like this part in particular, but eh, it's okay. I uh, I think I've talked a little bit about this one where it's only this. You can also see this here. Um, that's clearly a different like back like a layer, a different like entity than the other parts, and then it's like only like the this part moves. You can see the line right there. Uh, I there's not really a way for me to effectively uh get this part, unfortunately. Maybe there is. Maybe there's a dream. Like maybe if if I had that high IQ play, 
uh, I think I could have just taken this big segment and then copy pasted a bunch and then moved it alongside that. That would have been it, actually, now that I think about it. Like, that would have been the solution. Because it, it definitely repeats, like, very clearly. Um, yeah, that would have been the solution. I don't, why did I not do that? Odd. I, mean, I could have probably just done that for the entire thing, though I think about it. Or just go like, like go all the way down and then like here and then yeah, just do that. That that probably would have solved everything. That would have made this whole project, it was this whole segment easier. And that's why self analysis is super important because you get to <laughs> and like behind the scenes looking. That's why I like these videos. Well, I think there's less like more. I value the importance of these types of videos because I'll look back and be like, wait, I could have just done this. That would have solved the problem. It would have made this so much easier. Less work. A way better solution. I wouldn't have made it weird looking. It was right there in front of my face the whole time. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, that is crazy. Uh, you know, darn. That would have been a great solution, I think. Yeah, I mean, that would have pretty much worked perfectly <laughs> for what I was doing. I mean, other than like this color change here, but I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just uh, no, no. There's not much. I think it's just the the lighting and where I am it makes it seem like this is a lighter color. Positioning wise, <laughs> man, that's really funny. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, and then it's gonna lag again. So we're just gonna move it down to one four. We don't want it to like freeze up like uh, I like this. I like doing it like this. The or I like doing it like this. I like having the footage like this with the, the shadow. I've been doing that for a long time. I think. I think ever since I really got into to really posting the YouTube videos. I think you can see in the old Roy video. Um which is too many views. It's like over five thousand. That's why. Well I mean I, I get why, but Blows my mind a little bit. But I like doing this. It just looks very visually appealing for me. Because it makes it like pop up. Uh, maybe there's an argument to be made to like blur this a little bit behind it. But I don't really think that was necessary here. Just because it's like there's no movement on the screen at all really. I mean there's like a... Yeah, there's no movement. Because then it switches uh, here. Yeah, and then it's going to move. Oh, this, this segment's not as connected. That's okay. Ah, uh, see, these sections did not work either. See, this is what I'm talking about. This one in particular, I feel like these are pretty stunted. Like, we don't really need to go through this because it's mostly just, like, footage of the areas. And we've kind of gone through that. And you can watch the video yourself. I don't really like these. Uh, yeah, I just don't really like these type of things. I didn't like the. I mean, I think there's value in this this little part. But I, I don't really like the... the tr I don't like the, the cuts. Like, this cut in particular, I don't really like. I'm going to avoid that in the future. I need to do a better job of, I think, not cutting to black as much. I think I kind of rely on it as a crux sometimes. Well, maybe not rely on it, but I think I overuse it. Like, I need to experiment with different stuff. I don't want to just keep doing that over and over again. I want to do something a little different. A little weird. Flexing, even. Um, I just have a habit of doing it. And like I, I can already think of a section where I am doing that in the next video, the main project, where it's definitely gonna like cut the black. Then again, maybe it doesn't. Maybe well, I mean, cut the black or white. I think it might be white in this case. But it is a bit something to change. Something to figure out a little bit more. And you have the whole segment, and then there's music, and then uh. This was definitely a fuck up on my part. Uh, I think I was just kind of tired by this point. I just I should have gotten better footage. Uh, I do like side by side, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, and then you have the footage. We Norfair. Uh, I think no school. This part was okay. Uh, I think the title still dog shit. 
Crash. Should have been better. Playable Girl Boss is lame. But whatever. It's like, oh, Playable Girl Boss. Never seen Girl Boss. Never seen that before. Crazy. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, pfft. too overused. Too overused. We, we went the wrong area. We, we messed up. We fucked up. That's okay. I think one of the things that also annoys me is I think I've slowly figured out, oh, there's a ruler functionality in After Effects where this would not be as, like, you can see that these two are a little higher than, the, than these two. It's not, like, perfectly in the middle. Um, and that's that's my bad. I could have also just used, like, I could have made a Photoshop file at 1080p and had, like, the lines, like, artificially. Because, of, like, uh, the four-way cross type stuff. I could have just done that because that would align it all for you. And then I could just have that over here and then have it set to that. Um, you know, but I didn't think to do that at the time. Maybe, or maybe I was lazy at the time. One of the, one of the three. Who knows? Uh, but I do like this too. And then you get the moonwalk. It's pretty sick. And then it's this. Um... I wonder if I would have approached this differently. Oh, actually, I do like this segment a little bit, but also I, I think I realized soon after, and I think I said this in the, the other video, uh, this stuff analysis, where uh, I figured out how to do, uh, like, listen to audio in After Effects. So I could have timed a lot of these things better, which is unfortunate. You know, very unfortunate that it, it did not work out as well as, as it could have. That's okay. Burr. Uh, and then we go forward and areas, and then the music's back for some reason. Whoa. Uh, I think I like. I kind of liked not this. Um, you can see it's right there. Uh, I think I like this aspect. Although I think I, in my head, I had envisioned it to work a little different, and I think maybe it should have been smaller. Yeah, I think smaller would have been good. For sure. And then I could have had it. Yeah. Smaller would have been good. Uh, I just needed to have like a better frame of reference, I think. Maybe I could have like uh, drawn it out a little bit more to have it figured out how I was going to display it all. Like, I think if I would do it differently, I think I would have HP over the head. I think I would have these obviously very smaller, and much here. Uh, I do like when it's very clearly activated on it. So it's like. Not here, and then it's activated. Not here, and there's death, and then death. See, I do go. I cut the black so much, man. I, I've always, I think I've always done that, uh, except for one. There's like a school project, I think, that I actually didn't really cut the black at all. Um, which is kind of interesting. Maybe I, no, I don't think I did cut the black. There's a couple things I, I can remember. I just, I don't know if I have access to that. Um, project file anymore. Maybe I do. We can look at it. I uh, will look at it one day. Get me out of college. I mean, one day. Well, I mean, I'm out of college at the moment, but you know what I mean. Uh oh, yes. Okay, and then we have the boss fights. This, okay, okay, so uh, I'm not gonna go over the other boss fights besides, I think, the last chapter because a lot of them are, you know, very similar structure. Uh, well, I did want to go into, uh, mute. Uh, I want to go into, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was also this. Uh, I am not sure about this decision to this day. Where it's, like, very, like, I think it's too much. I think, I think something that I could have done is have it, like, set in, like, the normal frame of reference. Where you have the black screens, these black sidebars, you have normal footage, and then you zoom in, and then it's a little bit visually dynamic before kind of returning to like more of a close up type stuff, like standard. Uh, I think this is like, it kind of moves a little too much for my taste, to be honest, where I think it could have been. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, you know, it's something. Okay, and then this goes all the way to so and so, and then we're on chapter five. I messed that up. It's all horizontal, not, you know, vertical. Uh, there's not much to talk about. Just, yeah, there's not much here. This is a funny bit. 
um, and then it goes through it, and then the end, and there's not much here, and then there's, I, I'm not gonna really talk about the segment, because it's just, it's like the first one, except not as good, because I could not have done all the crazy edits, because it just was not possible to do, also, I was really tired, which is the answer for a lot of things, I did not want to do it anymore, uh, blah, 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 all right, and then I'll get to the credits in a second, but first, I want to go back to chapter four. I want to go back to the, the first little segment I had. Uh, so I think the music. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think there's going to be any music here. Well, actually, there is. Um, I just don't know if it'll, it'll play on your side. But I think I it won't play just because it'll be set to here and I have to play it through this. So it's not going to be like this, the, the premiere. Where it'll do that. I think that's what's wrong. Uh, so Craig. And the boss fights in general. So here I have the, the text. Um, it'll show up here. And it has this wiggle effect. And it's like big smack. Uh, the big smack is obviously um, the opacity. Uh, it just shows up actually. So it's, it's not there until this frame. Uh, as you can see there. Uh, and then the, the the reason it does this is because I have the sliders. I, I watched the video. Can't remember what the video was at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, what, what is the glow? Oh, I did a glow effect? The effect control. Oh, I did. Well, here's the sliders. So you have frequency, uh, which is, I think, the, the you know, the rate at which it moves and then the amount of movement. So it's like here it'd be like, oh, you can't see it. Like I wanted it to stay stable. I didn't want it to go anywhere that much, but I wanted it to move sporadically. I think 900 worked out. Uh, and then I think you can see there's some shadow underneath it. That's probably the glow I would assume. Yeah. Uh, so it's just why it is here. The glow makes it stand out a little bit more off the you know the background, which you know is helpful when we're in phrase there. Uh, it makes it look more aesthetically pleasing. Um, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then there's the base layer. I don't know if I think it, it's possible. I. Set the footage, but we can look at uh, here. We'll, we'll look at this first. So this would be blank for a second. Uh, and then there's, I think this is just the basic footage. Oh, uh, which we'll look at in a second. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay. Um. So this is just the basic footage when it's, when itself that I recorded. Nothing really special about that. Just recorded footage. Now uh, this is this is a pre comp though, and it's just this part where you can see the position and the scale. So it's slowly getting a bit bigger and closer to Samus. And there's the position. It's moving, and it has that quick move scale. Then it's off screen. Although I think that's a that was a transform effect. This is pre move, and then bam, off screen. Uh, was the door opening on that side? Uh, so let's look at actual. So we can go in. See, this is kind of what it actually looks like. Uh, because I have the the sprite, the Brinstar map sprite. Turn it off. There's Samus. Uh, and then we'll look at Samus. So we'll, we'll, so this is what Samus is doing. This is what I had Samus do. So I'm moving Samus across the little pathway here. And this is what's zoomed in uh, on the other side. Because this is the full composition. If I zoomed out, it would be, I could show this whole thing. Uh, and then you might see that Samus has stuff behind her there. Is true uh, because the actual, uh, let me see, uh, the tent. 
that's black and white. Uh, I think it's cropped. Although I don't think it matters. Crop, you can't really see that much. But the main thing to take note is is the mask. Where if I said none, you would just have this. This whole thing. And you can see that this is what I attempted to do at first, where you just have it move over the screen, but uh, the background wasn't matching up, which is really unfortunate. Uh, and this has become a little bit of another thing that I did later uh, in, in the, uh, the escape we'll get into later, or we'll get into next week. So I did not want to go through that horrible hell process again. There wasn't really much I could do, unfortunately. So I came up with a different solution. Uh, much faster solution, which to be fair, it it doesn't do it for that long amount of time. It's really you only see like this part. It's okay. You know, maybe a lot of this is the feathering. I could have done um like Sam's sprite work, but I couldn't just I just couldn't figure out. Uh, I would have to have had to really check in. On the timing of uh, how Samus runs in that 60 seconds, like how the frames work out, and it was just—it was a lot of work at the end that I just did not want to have to. So that's how I did that. Back to the main whole thing, and then obviously it goes green, and then we have this. So I. And I'm working on like, there's two things going on. There's this one, which is later uh, into the introduction, which I think will lead us into the text. Yes, so we'll look at that later. Um, right now, the effects are there's the transform, which we'll get to, and then there's cropped edges. Um, I'm not really sure what the context is. I guess I think, so. oh, I think something probably the top. It says bottom, but it, it means the top in After Effects for some reason. I don't know. It's really weird the opposite of what i would i would think so the top is cut off so what's cut off is the like the the little those top items and health bar and stuff like that the non-main portion footage or area of the screen um so we'll look at transform and orientation so orientation is the 3d thing so you will see uh it's it's kind of like stable here uh, and then it starts to move. So luckily, I have this, whatever it is, uh, showing it as well. Uh, as it moves into the frame. And then it, you know, the position and scaling. Uh, so we're zoomed in and we're zooming out and we're changing position a little by bit. Uh, I think it's going to the left. A little Talon, maybe? I don't know. And then you have the orientation is set to zero, zero here. And then it starts to shift. So I think this is where Kraid uh, becomes more of a focus and gets into the camera or the frame of reference here. So Kraid is big. He's zoomed in on. Samus is becoming smaller because of uh, how the 3D layer is oriented. Make Prey look much more like a very scary, tense threat, which he's not. Kraid is not really that big of a threat, uh, especially if you played Metroid Dread, where he just gets completely mollywhopped. My gosh, dang! Uh, and then is this where it is? Not yet. And there's a little bit, I think, of movement here as well, because I don't know if this is stable. This is stable, actually. Never mind. So it'll be on. It'll be leave it on this frame for a little bit. And then we'll get here. And this is where things start to move. So uh, the, the effect for transform, uh, compass and shutter angles off, shutter angles all the way up. So you have that very blur. And it's quick. It goes into it. It zooms in. And the, the text pop up. Uh, and this is zoomed in as well uh, alongside it. I think it's more of an orientation thing here, though, rather than like the position or size changing. The orientation sets to zero have that normal um not kind of 3d-esque you know one side is more zoomed in 
and then you have uh, text shows up on screen starts to shake um there's also in the, the main file there's the sound effect the which i think i talked about a little bit in the previous section where i just slammed my desk and edited it in like adobe after or audition i need to remember how i did that i don't remember i need to watch the video again there's this video that i watched about anime sound effects and how they are made and how someone could recreate them and it was very interesting it was great uh it was really cool and as he zooms in and then you know the rest uh just stays there Rah. and then this is cut obviously to whatever in in the actual video No, After Effects is fun. It's very interesting. It's super nice. I'm glad I've been using it a lot more. It helps me get a lot more, like, a lot of really weird, interesting visual stuff, which is cool. And I'm going to try to keep working on it, improving it better. You know, which is why we have self-analysis stuff, which is why I don't want to stop doing the self-analysis stuff. It's just the self-analysis and behind the scenes are going to... They're going to definitely be be put in one video instead to prevent them from being repetitive and you only need to watch the one to get the full kind of experience besides unless i want to like go over something super specific later in a different video which is going to be shorter anyway hopefully maybe well i mean i would assume it's shorter um and then you have the little credits where it goes over how barack obama for some reason, was a really good script uh, or sprite sheet ripper. Uh, really interesting. You know, I don't know why he spent time doing that. You know, he was doing other things. But hey, as long as he's doing sprite work and not, you know, drone strike stuff, hey, we're, we're in there, man. We're in there. All right, good, good for him. He's doing something way better, more beneficial for the world. Uh, I will say one of the things I've kind of like thought about for this is I think there was a a much better way to approach this that I I didn't really think about how to do it until later because I thought it might be would too it would be too hard I thought it'd be too much but I think looking back and looking at how to effectively do the the the, the rotoscope type stuff I could have done it that way. And I think would have been much better. This one looks fine. Um, and I kind of like the, obviously, the, the text color changes. As, you know, I think that's really cool. Uh, I took a lot of inspiration from uh, Edge Runners, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, because I just watched it. And I'm like, oh, wow, this opening is so cool. It's so, like, I love this kind of, like, visual thing you're doing. I want to try to do that. And I did it, sort of. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I figured it out as much as I can. I might experiment more with it at some point. Down the line. Uh, but this one didn't really work out. You can see it's kind of like a little gross. And this one also in where there's like little dots everywhere, but it's not really that easily seen. This one was pretty sick. I actually like this one a lot. Um, obviously I used the kind of sprite sheet of, you know, that Cerise space station, uh, alongside as orange and it's a little feather as well. Uh, and you can see it's, 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 I think it's a mat. Probably. Um, and you can see the orange behind you can see this. I would have liked to have the text kind of like work like it does in the other stuff. I think I was having a, a bit of an issue figuring that out. Uh, luckily, I don't think I have to worry about that again because I think the 2023 update gives you a lot more flexibility and helps you do kind of weird match stuff more easily, which is really cool. And I'm really excited for because uh, I want to mess around with this type of stuff more uh, mats in general because I think it could be super fun, uh, which I'll work on. And... Uh, besides that, I think this is kind of like the end. And then it ends on the black screen. That's white text. Yay. Woo. Hooray. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of really it, I think. At least uh, besides the, the escape, which we'll cover in its own separate video. Because it's just, just, it's just so much. 
to go into that I think it deserves its own kind of video. Uh, cause it's just like a lot that I had to do and figure out. It is brutal. It is rough. I mean, it's just, I don't know. There, there's easier solutions to what I did, but that's okay. Cause sometimes for the sake of doing something interesting, you gotta go the weird, shitty, tedious route first. And then in the future, you'll be able to do the fun, easier, cooler route you figured out afterwards. Like that one segment we were talking about earlier. Uh, with that being said, um, thank you for watching. Uh, this will be uploaded soon, hopefully. Uh, probably just gonna fix a couple things. And uh, with that being said, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, and etc thank you